Hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'll be going over how you can quickly render high quality After Effects projects. To begin with, I will be showing you two general tips that will significantly reduce render time for any future After Effects project that you choose to render. And I'll also be going over my personal output settings that you can use as a guide for your own output settings. So tip number one, we'll be changing some global hidden After Effects program settings which will allow for faster rendering in the future. To do this you want to hold shift on your keyboard then with the toolbar at the top of the window you want to click on edit then go down and highlight preferences then go up and click on general whilst still holding shift. Once you've done that and this window, the preferences window has popped up, you can let go of shift and then you want to click on this secret tab, which I think is pretty cool um, that it it's a secret tab. Yeah. And then once you've clicked on that secret tab, check these two uh, boxes and with the purge every blah frames during make movie, you want to set that to two. So once you've checked those two boxes, and set that value to 2, you can hit OK, and that is tip number 1 done. For tip number 2, what I'll be showing you is how to render out your projects without a RAM render in the background. And what I mean by RAM render is a preview of your render as it is rendering. Now, that preview actually slows down the render quite significantly because it chews on your computer's RAM and to avoid that what you want to do before adding your project to the render queue or the Adobe Media Encoder queue is press caps lock on your keyboard. Once you have hit caps lock you just have to hit it, you don't have to press it, just hit it as though you're activating caps lock. Then you can go ahead and composition either add to Adobe Media Encoder queue or add to render queue whatever. Uh, you're using. So click that, change your settings like usual, and you'll notice that this preview there won't actually show you a live preview, and that will significantly reduce rendering time as that preview chews on your computer's RAM, which is required for the render itself. Okay, and lastly, for tip number three, I'll be going over my personal output settings uh, so that you can retain high quality whilst also rendering quickly. Now first you want to click on this best settings um, next to render settings make sure quality is set to best, resolution is set to full um, that's pretty much all you need there, that's all good. Next thing you want to do is click on lossless next to output module uh, you want to change the format to QuickTime and then down here under video output click on format options you want to set this quality to 100 um, if you want a faster render and still good quality not the best quality you can set this anywhere between 80 and 100 under video codec here make sure that is h264 that's um, all you need to do under format options then down here uh, for audio output, uh, if your composition has audio, make sure to either select audio output on or audio output auto. And 48,000 kilohertz is fine. Um, so that's cool. You can hit OK. That's all set. Uh, set your output. So for me, I usually just use the desktop, call it something like comp1, composition. And then you can go ahead and render. And you'll notice that the render time is significantly less than what it used to. If these tips helped you out, show your support by subscribing. There's a button on the screen right now, so go ahead, click that, like this video, and share your thoughts in the comments below.